Now the PlayStation VR 2 is by far one of the best VR headsets I've been playing with all year for 2023. And for my ownership experience, playing with this thing for one whole month now, I want to go ahead and share with you guys some life hacks and some clever hidden features and some cool tips and tricks so you can also get the most value out of your PlayStation VR. So I'm going to go ahead and start off this list on how I was able to play the PSVR wired comfortably. I highly recommend picking up an extension cable. Try not to make it longer than one meter because anything more will cause tracking issues. I'll provide links to where I got this one in the video description down below, but I compo this with a quick release like MagSafe inspired like Apple laptop quick release right here for the USB-C because my biggest fear was tripping, accidentally tripping over the cable and causing damage to my PlayStation 5 or the VR headset. So I highly recommend picking up these quick release magnetic adapter. It doesn't cause any, any issues whatsoever. Still powers on the VR headset just fine. And there's no latency in like video delay or anything like that. This thing able to transfer data from the magnets and the quick connectors quickly as if it was actually plugged in via the cable directly. And if somebody does trip over my PlayStation or the cable or something like that, it immediately just comes off just like so. This is a massive safe feature that will actually protect your investment. The next thing I like to talk about is the controllers. Now the controllers themselves, we all know that they don't really last that long under a single charge. And a way you can actually increase the battery life is if you actually go into your PlayStation settings and just navigate on this portion of the menu and just go ahead and adjust the vibration. You can either turn it off or keep it on the lowest setting. But I found out by doing this, technically I gave my controller almost double the battery life. So if you like to squeeze out that extra juice, highly recommend doing this if you're annoyed of constantly having to charge your controller. Now if you wear glasses like I do, I highly recommend picking up glasses protectors. You can either 3D print these or buy them on Amazon. I have them linked in the video description down below. If you have access to a 3D printer, I have the 3D print file as well in there. But now that the PSBR has been released for over a little over a month now it's time making this video, there's been many reports of the community experiencing scratches on their VR headset from the edges if they wear glasses. So to protect this and prevent you from scratching your VR lens, I highly recommend getting these 3D guards and you simply just click on right here and they protect the edges of your PSVR because once you scratch these lens, it's kind of game over. There's no way you could repair this unless you buy a new VR headset. So to protect your investment one more time, highly recommend picking up these glasses protectors. Now since we're still on the topic of maintenance, keep these lens away from direct sunlight. Direct sunlight will actually harm the OLED. So now you know. You'd be surprised how many people didn't know this. Now if you use the earbuds or you're using over the ear headphones, but you still like to hear your surroundings, just like you have the capability to enable pass-through mode, you can actually allow it so your earbuds can actually play the audio that's around you as well. Kind of like what Apple does with their AirPods with the transparency mode. Very similar to that. If you like to go ahead and enable this and adjust the sensitivity while you're wearing your VR headset and you're wearing your earbuds or over to your headphones of choice, go into the settings on your PlayStation, go into sound and scroll all the way down to side tone volume. And here you can actually play with level one or level five. Five is the max and find the right level for you and your environment. And now you should be able to hear your surroundings. So you'll be able to hear your surroundings. And then now, since we're talking about surroundings, a cool design about these controllers is if you're using the hand strap, you can actually rest, put your hand through it like so, and you can actually like grab like a cup of coffee or something like that while you're gaming, move something around and quickly just do this and get back in the game. It's pretty unique, quite clever too. It took me a while to actually realize this, but yeah, now you know. Of course, it depends how big your hands are, but you can just slide it out and slide it back in. And this little strap, you can remove it. A simple twist allows you to just remove it like so. And in addition to that, Apparently not a lot of folks know about this. I already mentioned this in the past, but this is actually self tighten if you just rotate your wrist like so. Pretty cool. Clever engineering one more time from Sony. Now when gaming in VR, if you actually tap the PlayStation button twice, it will actually bring up a little custom PlayStation menu. Here you have quick access to enter pass-through mode in case you swap the pass-through mode button to your mic instead to quickly mute. You have quick access to pass-through mode right here. You can find other useful settings here as well. 
And here you're able to adjust the screen brightness. And the thing I noticed, if you're familiar with the Mura effect, if you lower the brightness to around 70%, you see less of the Mura effect. So there's a clever trick right there to eliminate that if that really bugs you and concerns you. Now, if your environment is one color, like a whole white wall with white furniture, as an example, you may experience tracking issues because of that, which is why Sony encourages you to have more furniture in the room. But if there's no choice, you have no other option than play in those type of environments, don't worry, there is hope. If you actually go on your PlayStation settings, go into accessories, and then go into the VR, the PSVR 2 menu, and scroll all the way to the very bottom until you find other, where it says track and support, enable this. And if you look at the TV that mirrors everything you see, you'll notice that the PlayStation borders is surrounding it. That is what's being used to make sure that the camera has a general idea where the tracking position of everything is. The con to this is if you have people viewing what you're playing, the screen is smaller. So that's the only con. But if you're playing by yourself, highly recommend leaving this on for the best tracking experience possible. Now, if you like using cinematic mode a lot on your PlayStation VR 2 headset while watching YouTube, Netflix, you know the drill, I highly recommend going into settings and, and set an idle time on these controllers so they can stop using up juice when you're not using them. This way, you can actually preserve as much battery life as much as possible so you don't have to charge these things as often. By going into settings and going into your system, and then scroll all the way down to power saving, set a timer for the controllers to turn off. So you can leave it for 10 minutes, 30, or 60. 10 minutes is a sweet spot, in my opinion, when it comes to using these controllers. Then lastly, there's been reports of some window computers being able to use the PSVR as an extended monitor or as a monitor. To find out if your machine, your window computer has access to this, if you actually see a USB-C port on your GPU, then the likelihood of if you plug it in your PSVR to your computer will actually work. It will actually be detected as a monitor. So no, unfortunately, you're unable to play Steam VR games. The way it works, basically, it will actually show you a screen on your PSVR, like a monitor, very similar to cinematic mode on the PlayStation 5. So yes, you can technically use your PSVR on a Windows computer this way. By the time you get this video, there's no software support that will actually allow you to play VR games on PC. Maybe in the near future, who knows. And before you comment down in the comment section wondering what this thing is on the back portion of my VR headset, this is actually a little 3D printer clip that I printed out that basically allows me to actually center the wire in the middle so it's not in the way or anything like that when I'm gaming. Honestly, this should have been available by default, but I'm gonna go ahead and go more into detail on the accessories I have on my PSVR in an upcoming PSVR accessory video. But in case you're curious and you have access to the 3D printer, I'll also include this 3D print right there in the description down below. But now take it away, pass Ed. And there you guys have it. Now you are a pro when it comes to using your PlayStation VR 2. I hope you found some of these amazing tips and tricks and hidden features helpful to make your gaming VR experience so much better. If you did get some good usage out of this video, if you know, leave this video a like. I really appreciate those as well as get subscribed, especially if you enjoy a lot of tech videos just like this. If you'd like to watch more, check out the previous hidden feature video I made right over there. I cover some other stuff, so technically that's the part one and this video is at the part two. So if you'd like to see the rest of a unique hidden features that the PSVR has to offer, check out that video. Aside from that, I appreciate every single one of you guys from watching and make sure you take care of yourself as well as loved ones and I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.